Let's follow along with Jared as he searches Primo, our library search system. Jared starts in the Library tab in Portal. He clicks on the Primo link. In Primo, he enters some search terms for his topic. He selects the CUW Library Scope. Next, he knows he wants books and book chapters, so he selects those from the resource type. Then, he looks at the subjects and selects a few that relate to his topic. He clicks the Apply button to apply his filters. He checks his search results and then locks his filters. Next, he'll look for a book to read to learn more about his topic. He'll click on the title to access the item. He'll access the book by clicking on one of the links under View Online, and then Read Online to read the book for a while. After learning more about his topic, he's ready to save the book and do some more searching. Jared logs into Primo to make sure his items are saved. He removes his book and book chapter filters and adds the word comparative because he learned about it in the book he read. He puts quotes around the term comparative psychology to keep the two words of the term together. Then he does an article search. He finds a title of interest and accesses the full text just like with an ebook by clicking on a database link. Inside the database page, he looks at the Details tab, reads the abstract or summary of the item, checks the subject terms or topics within the item, he checks the journal title, which is scholarly. This sounds good to Jared so he decides to email the item to himself. He chooses the original file format, as well as the bibliographic citation style. He'll enter his email address and his name. He can change the subject if he likes. Back in Primo, he'll save the item to his Primo account and return to his search. Finally, he'll search for items outside of the library, which he might want to request via interlibrary loan. He scrolls through the search results until he finds his book chapter, Principles for Human-Animal Interaction Research. He sees it's an interlibrary loan item. He knows he'll need the item's description, so he copies it from the details in the record. Then he opens the interlibrary loan form. He'll add in his information and copy and paste the item's description here with the title, author, and pages he needs. Then he'll click Submit. When Jared starts a new project, he creates a new label in his saved items. To create a new label, he clicks Add Labels on one of the items for the project and types in a new label. He chose Dogs here. Once a label is created, he can attach it to other items by clicking it from the list. He can filter out all the items for the project by clicking on the label on the right. To request switch items, search for Switch Libraries Materials. CUW Physical Items will have a library location and call number. Then click Check for Request Options. Check to see where the item is located and if it's available. Then click Switch, switch Request and then Send Request. To get a citation, he can click on the quotation marks anywhere in Primo. With some practice, you can be a searching expert like Jared. 